There is a secret history of this war, which exists only in memory. Reader, I will tell you my tale as I lived it. May my words convey what war really is, such that good people will hesitate to solve anything with war again. What is known is that her name is Loretta Janetta Velasquez. She was born in Cuba on June 26, 1842, to a wealthy family. At the age of 14, she eloped with an officer in the Texas Army. She then pleaded with him to allow her to join him in the Army. Undeterred by her husband's refusal, Velasquez had a uniform made and disguised herself as a man, taking the name Harry T. Buford. Velasquez headed north, acting as an independent soldier. She joined up with the regiment just in time to fight at the Battle of First Manassas and the Battle of Ball's Bluff. As luck would have it, she found the regiment she originally recruited in Arkansas and fought with them at the Battle of Shiloh on April 6 and 7, 1862. All in brutal detail, she was wounded by the side of an exploding shell and an army of doctors discovered her true gender. Velasquez decided at this point to end her career as a soldier and she returned to New Orleans. In the year of 1876, Loretta wrote her book, The Woman in a Battle. Now that's just what I am, and for this Yankee nation, I do not give a damn. I'm glad I fought again, I only wish we'd won. I ain't asked any pardon for anything I've done. I hate the Yankee, Yankee nation, nation and everything they do. I hate the Declaration of Independence, too. I hate the Glorious Union, tis dripping with our blood. 